Hello viewers and subscribers, uh, it's Techobist. In this video, we are going to learn how to upload an image or a photo to your server and also store the contents of that image or photo, store the details of the image or photo into your server's database. So let's get started already. Okay, uh, so before you can go on with this tutorial i mean before you can actually implement this application you need to have zamp or wamp or mamp or you can also have this application called usb web server yeah usb usb web server you don't need it doesn't require any installation you just have to download it and just run it on your machine so i'm going to use USB web server um i'm going to store a folder in the root directory I'm going to create a folder in the root directory named Android upload so in my Android upload we have a folder include we have another folder uploads so you create a folder uploads and also include and in the include folder we are going to have a db connection .php file so let's look at that file so that db connection .php file has a number of constants declared here so i've declared my host i've declared my username i've declared my password in my database so my host is localhost my username is roots my password is usb.w and my photo gallery is my database is photo gallery so this is the connection string to enable you connect to the database on your server so yeah i'm going to check if there's no connection just kill the page and that's it all right the next thing we are gonna look at is um, insert image. So we need this file insert image.php to in order to insert the image into our server. So let's go ahead and open this file as well. So um, this file we have we require the we require the database connection on this line. We also get the global connection. That's that can be found in the DB connection as PHP file. We um, declare initializer upload path as server IP uh, upload URL. You can see the comments here, so I'm not going to re explain it. And um, we right here, we're going to check whether this parameter is present, whether it's already set, whether, whether the caption is set. If the caption, caption is set, then we do all this we get a caption we get a file name we get extension we file url blah 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 all this you can actually see the comments here so i'm not really going to explain them and this line is for saving the file into your server this line right here and also we are going to insert the contents the details of the photo into the database so we have that here in the sql statement so when it's successful we retrieve the response into an array right here if it's not we catch the error blah 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 we encode this in json string so it's called the connection and this file this function here is used to get the file name we don't want the file name to be so long some file names can be like 180 characters or whatever so we just get a file name and we just rename the file name and store it in the database in this function that can be seen here so now that we're done let's go on to our client side so this is for the server side we are moving on to the client side now okay so in the client side we before you proceed make sure you add these permissions internet permission access network state permission and also the read external storage permission and they also need to write we also need to add this to our uh, uh, dependencies so we are going to add this compile let's dot got ev upload service 2.1 as you can see here as you can see here this is the um, dependency we are adding to our application so you can see that 
this is how it actually works and you can see it has a license so you also you have to make sure that if you are going to commercialize this application you need to add a license to your app you need to attribute the license in your app yeah so that this is the location this is the link for their library here and after you're done doing this the next thing you do is um, open your layouts file you create a main activity that's what I have here it's already created so open your layouts your activity main and add this few uh, how do I call it layout stuff here so my image view is here my text view this is for the path and this is for the edit text for the caption of the image and this is for the button I'm uploading so this, this is what I'm going to use to upload there for okay so once you're done go to your main activity and then declare these variables here so I, I'm declaring my upload URL link so http one i two slash dot one zero dot one dot two this is the uh this is the url of my machine local machine i'm using i'm i'm accessing this locally so i i i'm using this and it's stored in the android upload folder and you can find it says image under that's android upload folder so i also declare my image request code my storage permission code so you need this if you are running um, Android 6.0 or Marshmallow. You need this and also declare my image view, my edit text, my text view, my button, my bitmap, which I'm going to use further later in the application. I'll show you and also the file path. So on, in the on create, I initialize all of these. I get your IDs right here and also request for the storage permission so you also you only need it when you're running on Android Marshmallow if you're not running on Android Marshmallow or if you're running below Android Marshmallow you don't need the request permission then I said I will click listeners right here so if I click on the image view I want it to open the file explorer and pick up an image for me so the start activity for results is what you use to um, get the value returned from the file explorer so when you are using the start of activity for results you need to implement this uh, method you need to override this method the on activity result method so this is going to check if your request code is the same as what you used here and also there is the result is okay and there is the design is not now you get the file part of that picture you retrieve from the file explorer and you also get a bitmap using the file path and then I set my path to the text view I also set the bitmap to my image view that's what you see here okay um, we also need we need this method get path to get the path of the photo we retrieve from the file explorer so this method is going to do just that for us and the request permission we need these two methods to request for permission to allow us access our storage so we need to access our storage in order to get the pictures from our storage so we need a um, request permission results and also request storage permissions so yeah after we done we come here we come to the upload method so when you want to upload you need to have this method so I created a method upload multi parts so I'm getting the string value the caption from the caption edit text I also get a path of the file on this line and this line is for an upload ID, a random ID for uploading. 
So you create a new app, multi-part upload request with the context, the um, random ID, and also the upload URL. So this line, we're going to add the file. So I'm adding the image. That's the part here. So the, the part for the image is just here. And also add a parameter. So uh, this this will be sent to the server. This will be sent to the server, and this will be sent to the database. So this line is for your notification. Uh, the notification you're gonna see in the notification bar, and this is for setting the number of retries if there's a failed attempt. And you also execute the upload right here. If there's any error, you're just gonna catch the exception and display it as a toast. So that is all viewers for this tutorial. So I'm gonna I mentioned the upload multi part right here. If view is equals button upload, execute this method. So that's all viewers for this tutorial. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys how the application actually works. Okay guys, so here is the Android application. So we have our image view here, we have our text view, we have our edit text and our button here. So when I tap on image view, I'm going to select an image from my file explorer. So I selected an image, you can see that the path is now showing here. And I'm going to give a caption, brute force. So I upload, you can see that upload completed successfully. So it created a notification that shows the upload progress and order. So yeah, that's all for this tutorial guys. Um, I'm going to show you guys how it looks like in the server and our database. So stay tuned. Okay, so we are back to our um, database. You can see that whatever what we uploaded from our Android application is now shown here. So we have the photo URL right here. We have the photo name here, and we also have the caption here. So now let's also go and check in our server and see whether the file was uploaded. So if we go to uploads. We can see that the file is uploaded here. I'm just opening. Yeah, you can actually see that. Is the file we uploaded right? Um, I think I actually forgot to let you guys know how to create a database. I didn't get to that part, but this is a screenshot of how it's supposed to be done. So, my database has the following columns and stuff and tables. So, we have our database photo gallery we use the database photo gallery we create a table with the photo name and photo URL and caption yeah so that's all guys thank you for watching this tutorial um make sure to subscribe and i'll see you guys another time peace